Good day guys, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to take you all to one of the famous beaches in Darwin, Australia. The name of this beach is East Point Beach and it is situated in a reserve called East Point Reserve. The time is nearly 5.30 now and I am on my way to the beach. Before we go to the beach, I would ask you guys to consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's go to the beach. We are almost near to the beach. I need to walk a couple of minutes in that direction and we will be there in the beach. You can see there are a few coconut trees on our way. This magpie is trying to attack me. I reckon it got a nest somewhere here and it's trying to save that. As you see there guys, there are a lot of boats and cruisers in the sea. Some of them are fishing boats and others are party cruisers. It is a low tide time now and you can clearly see how much of water went inside the sea. You can see there is a walkway pavement going along this beach on which you can do some walking, running and cycling. A lot of people used to do them in the mornings and evenings. There are also benches installed in the beach in some places for people to sit and relax. Mostly there are pandanus palm and casuarina trees here in this beach. They are the ones mostly in most of the beaches in Northern Territory. You can see the official name board of this beach placed here by City of Darwin. There is also a caution sign here for crocodile safety. Crocodiles are the most dangerous animals in Northern Territory and we should be careful if we are going into the sea. Usually the sea level is higher than this and there will be water everywhere here. As now it is low tide time, most of the water is gone inside the sea. I never seen anyone swimming in the sea, I reckon it is because of jellyfish and other poisonous creatures living here. There are a few species of venomous jellyfishes live in Australian sea and they can cause death for human beings, so we need to be careful. There are a few outdoor gyms along this beach and people can use them freely. You can see the safety information board available in this beach about box jellyfish. They are one of the deadliest animals in Australia. There is also another outdoor gym here along this beach. This one looks bigger than the other one. Let me do some exercise here guys. Alright guys, that was a quick exercise session. Let's keep walking and see what else we can see along this beach. You can see few people are just sitting here near to the beach and relaxing. I would say this walkway is stretched like 4 kilometers along the beach. There is also a kids outdoor play station along this beach guys. Few barbecue stuffs are there in this beach and in the evenings people usually come here, do barbecue and have some drinks.
This is an important place in this beach guys. When you see from here, you can see the whole Darwin city clearly. There is also a memorial of someone who died along this beach. When you see this side, you can see a runway for private flights. This one is not so active, but being operated for few flights. There are a lot of kangaroos and they are searching for some food guys. Along this beach, there are also few war structures which were built during World War II. Look at this tower here. It is one of them and we don't have access to climb up. You can see the beautiful sunset in East Point Beach guys. If it is high tide, there would be a lot of people fishing from the cliffs there. As it is low tide time now, no one is fishing there. Alright guys, I am nearly at the end of this beach. This is the end of the beach and I don't think we can go any further. There is a flag post in this end point. Usually they hoist flags during special occasions. There are a lot of rocks with different texture in this part of the beach. When you see that side guys, you can see a white color structure. That is the radar of Darwin International Airport. And when you stand here, you can see all the flights, departures and landings. You guys can see the sunset now. The sky is reddish and very beautiful guys. The sun has gone, the sea is calm and I can feel the cold breeze from the sea, it's amazing. Alright guys, I am wrapping up the video here. I hope you guys would have liked this video and if you like this one, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.